What's up guys, my name is Zilgin Mac and welcome to my gaming setup video. You know, it's kind of a long while since I made an actual setup video, so you might as well do a gaming setup video. Here we go. So this right here is what my setup looks like at the moment. It's kind of ghetto, but yeah, everything has a theme and that's red. I just think it looks really neat, so uh, yeah. And this is probably one of the most jank dual monitor setups of all time. It's like, you have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, then you have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That that doesn't really go well together whatsoever. Things will be improving, kind of, uh, because this monitor is actually be going because this monitor is kind of kind of screwy. This is a 1080p panel, 60 hertz. Um, that's really as high as it can go. Um, but if you're using DVI, it's only 900p, 60 hertz. So that's what I'm using right now. It doesn't look terrible, but you know, it has some weird issues with the OSD. Uh, being unlocked and stuff like that, so it's kind of a problem right now. So you got this one; it's a handsfree. This is actually like a really old monitor. Well, the cool thing about this monitor is it it goes above 60 hertz, it goes to 75 hertz, and this is how you know my games are a little bit smoother um, with this one. This one doesn't really have any problems, so I'm probably gonna be keeping this one around. So so we got a keyboard. This is a Red Dragon keyboard. I completely forgot which model it was, but it's RGB, so that's pretty freaking cool. And I'm pretty sure if you click FN and then B, and it starts breathing, which is pretty cool. So this is my Pictech mouse. Um, this costs like $15. Basically what it can do, it can change the DPI, so that's the lowest, and goes all the way to the top, DPI and stuff, so that's pretty freaking cool. So right here is, this is my PC. So the system, I can tell you the specs, Ryzen 5 2600, 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 2666 megahertz, I could probably get push, push it up to uh, 3000 megahertz, but I mean, I'm not going above that. RX 570, 500 gigabyte Samsung Evo 860 SSD, and uh, MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard, so yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. I have to say the performance of this machine has been stellar. You know, I haven't really had any problems editing with Vegas, things of that nature has been a very pleasant experience. And freaking OSD lock. Why does it do this, dude? All right, it's going to fix the problem. So here I'm going to load some Black Ops 3, and I'm going to show you how some Black Ops 3 gameplay looks on this PC. But for some reason, Black Ops 3 just loads really slow on any hardware, so... Yeah. So I'm going to switch to actual gameplay footage now. So yeah, guys, this is actually what the game looks like in the lobby. 120 FPS. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into... Well, let's go into a map like Shadows, because Shadows is a very detailed map. So we might as well check it out. So Can I please skip this cutscene? Please. Please. Thank you. I hate that so much. I hate how it's the first freaking thing in the cutscene. So as you guys can see, getting well over 100 FPS on Shadows of Evil at high settings. Um, it's kind of a mixture of high and medium with extra details when it comes to textures. Um, I decided to do this mainly because I could get a little extra performance out of the game. So. You know, I like an extra performance in keeping my temps low, so I'm the type of guy to worry about PC temps. So if my temperatures, like, go way too high, you know, I start kind of stressing out over it, you know, thinking like, oh, it's going to overheat, oh, it's going to have all these problems, when in all reality, it probably won't. But, you know, I like to be safe, you know. Gotta do the ritual, guys. It's kind of crazy to imagine that Shadows of Evil has been out for, like, I don't know how many years now. It's three years at this point, which is... Unbelievable if you think about it. And to a certain extent, it's kind of sad because you know how quickly three years have gone by. Like, it's ridiculous, man. I don't even have the fumigator. Come on, man. Let's see if we can get this, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, we got it. First try. Let's go, boys. It's been so long since I actually, you know, full blown played Shadows of Evil, so I'm kind of rusty. Come on. Yeah, let's go up here. And then, there we go, we got the points. Now we got 1250, so we can actually go over here, and then by this door, and then we can actually go in there, and kill the Mark I stuff, so, there we go. Let's 
Okay, got one. Wah. Yeah. Oh yeah, get get no scope, kid. Still at round one, by the way. Let's go right there. Grapple. Let's do this. Oh, at least we got that. That's completely fine. There we go. Let's crouch. There we go. Certain aspects of keyboard and mouse I'm still not used to. That's just crouching and stuff like that, but for the most part, I'm getting the hang of it. Ooh, the luck is just real today, dude. There we go, guys. Then we get a max ammo. Like, honestly, what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the luck right now? <clears throat> three, knife, one, two, three, knife, one, two, three, knife. Let's do this, guys. And is that the last zombie? That might be the last zombie. Good sake, dude. You know what? Let's just go back and do this real quick. Smack that. There we go. Here we go. Press F. Come on. <laughs> if I got killed by the keeper, I wouldn't have been. That would have been funny. Okay. 12.50, so I might as well just go down here and kill the keepers down here. I'm literally one point off. Give me a freaking break, dude. There we go. Probably went through the wrong one. Yeah, no, I didn't. Here we go. Let's go. Yee, yeah, boy. Yee. Yeah. Okay, well, there's gonna be another Margua. Yep. My goodness, these freaking things, dude. All I can say, guys, is McDonald's confirmed. Weevil, Weevil, the Weevil. Your service to the overlords is appreciated. Our complete assimilation, Mr. Mention, will now proceed. Ah, stereo! Can't wait to destroy this Margwa, ladies and gentlemen. If only you can quick scope on one after a time. Um, okay. That was, <laughs> that was the worst. But anyways, that's... Basically how the performance on this PC is like, it's actually quite crazy how good it performs, so yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, guys.